Tim and I report the news, but we're not usually the subject of the story. Late last year, though, health problems forced Tim to stay home for weeks. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I got shingles, and it's been an emotional roller coaster and a painful recovery, but I hope my experience can help others. And I want to mention that some of the photos you're about to see for me are a little creepy. For you, maybe a little hard to watch. This morning, right here on WJZ. He helps you wake up every morning, a member of the WJZ family for 24 years. So many of you were concerned at the end of last year. We have breaking news now. It's when Tim Williams went missing from your screens for six weeks. Tim says he's been on a journey, one he did not see coming. The first thing that happened was my lips swell and all the blisters, everything that happened to me happened on the left side of my face. Even as specific as my two front teeth, the right side was fine, this tooth and the gum, everything on this side was numb. You were in a lot of pain and discomfort. The blisters were very painful, but the numbness then felt like my face was completely frozen. Doctors diagnosed him with shingles, which is caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox. It can be triggered by stress or spread by contact with unscabbed blisters. It might be scary for the camera to see me without the, uh, the makeup on. Tim's blisters left dark blemishes on his face. He felt so embarrassed that for a month, he only left the house for doctor's appointments. And I was very self-conscious. I still am self-conscious about him. Of course, the one who gets it on his face is the one who shows his face every day on television for exactly. work. You normally get some blisters that can be painful, burning, itching, tingling. Dr. Shell Weiberg is the director of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Sinai Hospital. After you have had chickenpox the first time, it stays dormant in your body. And it tends to become reactivated when you're getting older, especially if you're uh, exposed to some type of stressor in a wide sense. And a stressor can be emotional stress, financial stress, health issues. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about one out of every three people in the U.S. will develop shingles. The CDC recommends the vaccine Zostavax for adults 60 and older, but says the preferred vaccine is Shingrix for adults 50 and older. Demand for the vaccine is high, but WJZ called a dozen pharmacies in Baltimore and only one did not have it in stock. That's very good. The fact that you're, 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 the skin is lightening up already. Tim's doctor still recommends he get the vaccine so he does not get shingles again. Where the numbness is gone, the, the nerves are just crazy and they really hurt. Today, Tim deals with shooting pains and he grew a beard because it hurts to shave. He visits his doctor monthly, uses creams for his blemishes and takes medication for his nerve damage. While I'm still taking medicines to bring the nerves back, I may not ever have complete uh, sensitivity back in my mouth or my lips. You had a severe case of shingles, but it could have been much worse. It really could have been. Because it hit me in my face, it could have impacted my eyesight, which it did not, and it could have impacted my speech, which it did not. Was this health scare a wake-up call for you in any way? Absolutely. You know, you start getting some of the stresses of life kind of catching up with you. Slow down. Slow down. You know, don't stress about things, let it go. And uh, that's been a big lesson for me. So first of all, Tim, it was very brave of you to talk about this so openly and honestly. Wow, thank you. You know, I learned that there were so many people who didn't even understand what it was. I didn't, right. I didn't. We talked on this program, Marty asked me once if I'd gotten a shingle vaccine, he had gotten, not it. gotten it. And I said, no. And I was thinking about flu shots, you talk about prostate, mm -hmm. you talk about, you know, getting your, you know, colonoscopies. People don't really talk about right. shingles. I, did, I just wasn't aware. And I found out that a lot of people weren't aware. So hopefully this brings some, you know, enlightenment to people who may have been a little uh, uncertain. Because of you, a lot of people here in the building went out and they got their sure vaccine. They sure did. You know, yeah. they sure did. So, you know, I've incorporated some things to kind of calm down, re rediscovering some things that make me happy. Got a new dog after losing two. Yeah. <laughs> you know. A new dog can be stressful. He can be stressful. Tommy, yeah, we saw him. But, um, but I'm, you know, hopefully yeah, how are you it helps. Feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better. I really am. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, you know, we're sitting here and I tell you every once in a while, uh, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, kind you can't of feel my lip, you know, yeah. but it's, it's coming along and I'm, I'm just so thankful again for all the people who reached out. And the beard has stayed. Yes. Well, that was, it was all just a ploy, so management would let, let you keep, keep it. a beard. You know, I didn't really Very clever. <laughs> we're glad you're back and we're glad you're doing better. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for caring. We'll be right back after this.